You will not believe what I just witnessed. This is absolutely insane. And I don't think I've ever seen this thing before. A bowler bomb. Yeah, I'm not kidding. You know, there's the Electron. There's even the thing with the Super Archers. There's the Blizzard. But the bowler bomb. That is so cool. Just, 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 just look at what he does. So cool. Putting down a Pekka. Will that Pekka be able to take down that queen? The Pekka is going towards that queen. And the Pekka does not get the queen, but almost. And now the wall wrecker is being sent in through the base. Let's watch how far it goes. The walker is with the Sui hero to protect it and allow it to go nice and deep through the base. As we can see, the attacker is doing uh, a bowler bomb lalo. That's so weird to say. He freezes up all of this stuff. Okay, and then, ready, 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 heal, rage, two clones. Those bowlers are going to get cloned up. They're going to get, just, just, just look at that, how cool is that? Right, and look how much of the base that took out. Th that, that's so insane. Like, yes, the attacker doesn't have any more spells for his Lalo, but... He took down everything he needed and much more. Do you see a single Inferno Tower on the base? Because, because uh, well, I don't. Do you see a single Queen on the base? Because I don't. Do you see a single Clan Castle on the base other than this broken one? Because I don't. The value that the attacker got from this Boiler Bomb is absolutely insane. And this is something that you don't see every day. This was just like a random spin in war. Elite Jago from Hawkwake, which is a uh, part of X Empire which is where I am, just, wow, what he just did, absolutely insane, look at all the base that he took out with that blurb bomb, and now he has such a perfect line of defenses, just like that, for the Lalo to go through, that is absolutely insane, you don't see that every day, because, well, maybe you do, and if you do, you're pretty lucky, I don't see something like that every day, and now he can send in his Lalo, and calmly take down the rest of this base, that was so beautiful, and look how many balloons he still has left, and look up, like, that was just so perfectly done, it's just one of those things that you don't see every single day, and I felt like I have to share this with you, because this was uh, really, really, like, really cool, and now his uh, Lalo is just cleaning up the rest of the base, that was so, so cool, quite simply. I'm going to request for a wall wrecker. I'm going to request for all bowlers. And I don't know what the attacker brought. A giant maybe. And I'm going to request for that. And then I'm going to go to my quick train section. I'm going to edit this. And let's go two clones. A heal spell. And let's see if we can pull this off. At Town Hall 11. So... Lalo just like this, whole lot of uh, balloons and all that good stuff, some minions, that was so cool, it's not something you see every day, I love seeing that kind of thing, the problem with this is that you're going to do a no spell Lalo, so at Town Hall 11, I'm not sure if this really is going to work, he also brought two P.E.K.K.A.s I think, um, let me just take away some balloons until I can make up another P.E.K.K.A., save, and just like so. So I'm here at Town Hall 11 FC 2.0, hoping to do some nice friendly challenges. As you can see, I have the CC troops. This is the friendly challenge army I have cooked up. Let's see if we're able to do this or not. Let's go right into here. So, queen and king right there. I feel like we should... I feel like we can... I feel like this area right here is baited. Maybe not. I feel like maybe we can put down our wall wrecker from this side right here. And just do it, I guess. And But what's the plan for this area right here? You know what? I'll go ahead. And, this is just for fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'll go ahead and put the P.E.K.K.A. here. Oh, that's not well placed. I'm meant to put it on this building right here. And then I will go ahead and put the P.E.K.K.A. Other P.E.K.K.A. right here. And then I will send this in through that area right there. King and Queen. Just like so. Let's see how deep they are able to go. 
so far getting decent value. This is kind of like a kill squad, Lalo. Getting ready for poison. And all that stuff is deployed just like so. Let's see how much value this is going to be able to get. And did all of this just kind of die quickly or no? Okay, so it didn't get too much value, but it's not horrible, I suppose. Our queen just went down. The boys should hopefully be able to get the eagle artillery. That would be very good. And then I'll start off my Lalo right around here. And then can I get them to go into this area right here? Because that would be great. I'll send this in with them there. Oh, it's no spells. So it's really weird. It's kind of awkward. And I feel like all those balloons are about to go down. Yeah, it's not looking very good. It's not looking very good, to be honest. This was kind of bad base, but, you know, I'm not the one to make excuses, so. You know what? I got about, like, a decent percentage, and it still might be able... Oh, I, I, I still have my Warden ability. I did not realize that I still have my Warden ability. You know what? Got, like, a 80% two-star. That's not necessarily good, but... It's, it's not horrible at the end of the day. We're going to try this out a bit more. I'm pretty sure the attacker here bought a free spell and not a poison spell. So I'm going to also try it along with that. You know what? There is a chance that this will be a 3-star. Maybe not. I got no clue. Where is the Grand Warden going? Shouldn't the Grand Warden just be chilling with these troops right here? I still have my Pekka's and a bunch of bullets. So this actually may be a 3-star? Nah, the Pekka doesn't have that much health. So probably not. But you know what? Who knows? Can I get to 90% at least? Nope, the expo is going to be hitting my bowlers down. Can I get... There you go, 90%. So it's not too good. But I could have done this much better. And the base that I did this on was also not the best. So if I was to maybe bring a free spell. And, you know, maybe just change it up a little bit. I think that this might actually be a very solid attack strategy. Just maybe. Like, yes, I didn't do this too well, but, you know, I didn't do any planning or anything like that. I just kind of went into it without looking at the base. Let me just edit my friendly army real quick. Let me take out the poison for a freeze like the attacker. And let me put out a friendly challenge base for these people who also want to do a friendly challenge. Four people are online, so hopefully somebody will get on sometime, sometime soon. I obviously did end up getting a three star because, you know, it's me. And how do I start this? I'm sorry that I don't have base cam, but kind of like just cut out. So I start off with my Warwrecker, my King, and my Queen, and my Pekka's going in right through there. And this time, watch what I'm going to be doing. It's going to maybe surprise you, maybe not. But look, it's just going nice and deep into the base, and then I drop my Warden in with all that on ground. So, the the Lalo is going to be like a backup Lalo, kind of. And I wait for my Warwrecker to get low on HP, and then right around here, I use my warden ability just to let my walker just go a bit deeper into the base and get just a bit more value. And then, there you go guys, I dropped down all my spells. And unfortunately, yes, I did accidentally double tap my rage spell. So, that is unfortunate, but you know what, it does happen. And now I just have my bowlers, I have my packets, and all that good stuff getting a lot of value. Look how much of the base I got taken out. Wow. And now I'm finally dropping in my Lalo. At this point, because I see that I didn't get the clan castle or the queen, I'm like, okay, this is probably going to be a fail. But, and, and like, that's why I don't do my Lalo too well. But look, it still does end up going fairly well. I end up getting lucky because the archer queen ends up hitting the lava hounds. And then the other lava hound ends up catching two black air mines. And so both of them died. And then those lava pups are going to be taking down that queen very easily and that queen is going to be going down bye bye queen and under the clan castle there comes out some hog riders so all the better for me and just like so my balloons are able to pretty much just take down the rest of the base quite easily and well from this point on it's just clean up well there is one more archer tower but it's not really going to be too much of a problem look at that we still have a bit of bullers which i think is kind of funny because well i don't know why i think that but i just think it's a bit funny that we still have a bit of bullers alive and just like I said before, from this point, it's mostly just cleanup. And so this attack right here, though it's not done on the best base, I think it does kind of prove that this attack strategy can be very strong and it can be very fun. It certainly was very fun attack strategy for me to use. And 
maybe don't use it in war until you practice a little or you know come up with a decent plan but if you and your friends are doing some friendly challenges then i'm serious use this attack strategy it's so much fun to use and it's really not that hard it Anyways guys, that is the end of the video. I truly do hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already because I have a class plans gone every single day at 2pm and comment what you want to see next. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.